Okay, we're now going to look at the uh, updated firmware by uh, Philip Locke and David Ayres. That's available on the Facebook uh, group for the SI4735 and SI4732. I know I've had a couple of messages saying that uh, people don't get involved with Facebook and haven't got a Facebook account and how do they get the file. And I'm afraid I can't help you there. I, I didn't write this firmware, obviously. I wouldn't have a clue where to start, to be quite honest. Um, I know it's available on this site. I'm not aware of it being available anywhere else. But if it is, and I find out about it, I shall let you know. But for the moment, I recommend that if you possibly can, you join the uh, the Facebook group because there's some useful information on it. But here we're in the file section, and we're going to download the, the latest uh, update. It's... Uh, this file here, April the 13th, 2021. If we click on the three dots, we can download. And in the usual way, you'll see that we've now downloaded uh, an INO file. And uh, we'll be able to use that in a moment. I'll show you how. Okay, we're back with Arduino Web Editor, which hopefully you recognize from my previous video. If you haven't watched that, then please uh, do so because you'll need the information from that to get to this stage. I should also point out, if you're using Arduino Web Editor, you'll also need a little program called uh, Arduino Create. Again, you download that from the Arduino uh, website. If you haven't got that, you haven't got the Arduino Create agent, then uh, you won't be able to talk to uh, the Arduino on your radio. It's just a little program that runs in the background. So that's Arduino Create. So make sure that one's running. Make sure you've got that running. Um, you'll get a warning if it's not running. So you just need to uh, to fire that little program up. Anyway, let's go back to libraries on our Arduino editor. Let's go to custom. And the only one, uh, if you followed my instructions from the last video, the one you'll have in there will be this one, a PU2C uh, CLR library. We click on examples. We scroll down again as we did before to the kits submenu. And under kits we go for AliExpress. I'll just widen this column out a little bit. And under the AliExpress we've got two choices and we go for the all-in-one OLED RDS Chinese. So we click on that okay so there we have uh, the original sketch but we're going to use the modified one that we got from the uh, Facebook group which is sitting down there at the moment look in our downloads uh, section so first of all let's highlight everything on here on this sketch on this tab make sure you capture everything all of the punctuation marks and uh, symbols and all the rest of it Drag the mouse right down to the end, get everything there, okay. And uh, what we want to do is delete this. So I press the delete key on my keyboard, I get this message. I just press cancel there, no problem, okay. We've now got a blank tab. We want to keep these other tabs, they need to be there. And this is why we have to do it this way. Okay, so these are the, uh, the other information that was in the PU2CLR sketch. That stays there, don't worry about that. Where we've downloaded our file, we can simply now click on that and drag it in there. Okay, and that is the new sketch with the 9 kilohertz step and the, the bigger display and all the rest of it. Uh, actually, if we scroll down here, I don't know if you can see, I'll just highlight it here, 1, 2 and 3. These are the differences on this new sketch. Cleaned up the display, fixed the RF attenuator. Disabled AGC on SSB and added a 9 kilohertz step. Okay, those are the changes. So, I'll just show you my um, radio, which we're going to upgrade. So, there it is, sitting there. It's plugged into the PC already. Okay. So, now, if we go back to the Arduino Editor tab, we still got a blank space in there. So what we do now is we highlight all of this new sketch, every little symbol, every little bit of punctuation, the whole thing, we drag it down, I right click, I copy it, 
I go back to my Arduino editor tab up here. Okay, where I've got my blank. And I should be able to do a control on the keyboard because you can't right click and paste for some reason. If you press control and V on your keyboard, I'll paste it all in there. Okay. So, as we did before with the other update, all we have to do now, the um, program knows we've got an Arduino Nano and it's on COM3. Radio's there. Sitting there waiting, it's plugged in and ready to go. Let's click the upload arrow. Okay, and hopefully now that will uh, start writing it up. Just watch this. You see the radio's gone quiet. I don't know if the microphone picked up the hissing. But uh, you'll hopefully see the radio reboot in a moment. If not, we'll switch it on, switch it off. But it should reboot. And uh, there it goes. Okay. And look, we've got a different display. And there we go. Now we've got the larger uh, display. And we've got the other fixes uh, on there um, as regards to the 9 kilohertz step and so on. So hopefully you can see how that's done. It's fairly straightforward. It's I, I Look, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. It's the only way I've managed to get the updated sketch on. I can see it's... You might look at it and think it's a little bit convoluted the way I've had to cut and paste and so on. I'm sure there's a better way. This is the way that I did it and you can see it's it's worked. It's worked on this radio here, okay? So that's all I can say about that. But just a reminder, none of this will work. The web editor, you have to have the Arduino create a program downloaded and running as well. And that's really what facilitates the communication between the web editor and the radio. So I hope that was of some help. Uh, again, any advice on doing this better is appreciated. But hopefully, there seems to be um, a little bit of a lack of information on quite how to do this, unless you're really familiar with Arduinos. So this is the only reason I'm doing this video. Hopefully it can help somebody out. Thanks for watching, and let me know if it's been of any help.